Hello crafty friends, this is Jessica from Little Tortoise Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to install a font onto your computer and then create a three letter monogram with any font. So let's go ahead and get started with the installing the font. So you can go to any website and download a font. You can purchase them, you can get them for free. Um, just be careful when you're getting them for free to make sure that you're not um, also getting a free little virus that sometimes comes with that. Make sure you're using a site that is reputable and doesn't send viruses to your computer when you download things. Okay, so for me, I when I download fonts, I like to be able to find them quickly and easily. So I went ahead and just created a folder called fonts, and that's where I download all the fonts when I download them. So, when you get fonts in here, you are looking for the true type font. Um, and they don't, they generally come as zipped files. So, let's go find one here in my list that is a zipped file. Here we go, Freshman. This is a zip file, and the reason I know that is because there's a little Z up here. So, to unzip it, I need to right click, go 7, seven zip, and then I'm going to extract files. So click extract files and then it will ask where I want them extracted to and I want them to go to my fonts folder and then it's going to create a freshman folder because there's more than just the file in there. So Then I'll go ahead and click OK and now that it's going to be up here at the top with my list of folders. Let's find it. Yep, right here is freshman. If you click on that you can open it up and this file only had the one folder. Sometimes there's like a README folder and when you open that it will tell you thanks so much for you know picking my font. If you're happy with it please go here and donate or share what you've created with it. So once you extract your file then you will want to install the file because just extracting it doesn't get it on your computer to be able to use. So you're gonna right click again and then here it says install. Go ahead and click install and then it's going to install your font for you. Now the font is installed and it should be available in Windows and also your Silhouette Studio. Now if you have those file programs open and running you're going to have to close them and reopen them so they will show up in there. And then once I've installed the font I no longer need that zip file so I just go ahead and right click and delete the zipped file. So once that's done, we're all done installing the font. So then we can come over to Silhouette Studio and since I had Silhouette Studio open, the freshman font is not going to be in my list of fonts, but that's okay. So for me to get that in there, I would just need to close down and re restart the program. So let's go ahead and move on to creating the three letter monogram. And you can do this with any font you choose. Most of the time it's a script curlyish kind of font. And so for today's tutorial, um, I picked the um, Edwardian script ITC font. So to get the text on there, you'll go ahead and click the text on the left hand side and then you can click on to your mat and it will bring up the cursor. And you can go ahead and type in the letters that you are needing. So generally for a three letter monogram, it's the first name's first letter, then the last name's first letter, and then, then the third letter is the middle name's first letter. So once you have that, it's all here together. I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger, so I'm just going to resize it. So I'm going to click on the whole thing and get it a little bit bigger so you guys can see what's going on. And then I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for you so you can see, see this. So if you can see right here, it's over touching just a little bit, which is fine, but I want my letters a little bit closer together. So I'm going to go to the textiles window. You can get there. It's along the top bar and it's this little A. Go ahead and click that. And then the character spacing is what you're going to want to change. So you can make your character space farther apart, which for a monogram doesn't work very well. So 
you just you can slide the bar until you decide oh yep that looks good I really like how that um, has come together so I think that looks good right there and you can also use the up and down arrows but I find that takes a lot longer than just sliding this little guy so once you have this make sure if you're not selected then you can't do anything so go ahead and make sure you have your letters selected and then we're going to weld the letters together so you'll go up to the top click object then select modify and slide across and click weld and that will weld together right here and it welded down here and it welds right here so anywhere that the letters were touching it welded together so now when you send this through your silhouette it's going to be one piece all together um, and then you know this is not the only font you can do this with you can do this with any font any letter so you can basically this gives you the option to make any monogram that you would like three letter monogram so I hope you find this helpful and we'll see you soon thanks for watching